Are we chopping down our sinful forests to plant a heavenly crop? When early settlers were given land, they had to clear it before it could be farmed. Trees and scrubs were removed so the land could become productive and yield successful crops. As unbelievers and immature Christians, we plant many wild seeds, such as pride, envy, jealousy, anger, lust, or guilt. These sins are undesirable thoughts and actions that take root and can grow into a forest, which is a way of life. As Christians, we have a new spiritual life, a life that promises peace of mind, joy, and contentment. But before this life can yield a successful crop, we must cut down the trees planted in the old life. Some of our sins are small and easily uprooted, while others will have taken root deeply in our lives. These sins will be obstacles as we start plowing in the fields of God's plans for our lives. A deeply rooted sinful life can be difficult to remove, but we must start clearing the land so we can produce a harvest that glorifies God and lasts into eternity. God has given us the tools, the Bible, the Holy Spirit, and teachers of God's Word. We have the tools, but it is up to us to start chopping and clearing. This does take time, so we must be determined to roll up our sleeves and get to work change in our lives can be frustratingly slow. Yet, if we persevere, we will be so pleased with the final harvest, and so will those around us.